I swear to you, if this is the Coconut Vacay Powder but renamed, I will lose my mind. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I really wanted to try out some new makeup. I mean, I do this all the time, but I was going through my PR stash and there's been so many different like PR packages that have been sent to me of brands that I've never really tried or just things that looked really good. I don't know, things like this Alloup tinted mineral sunscreen and then Pacifica sent me some stuff so I wanted to try their concealer. I've also really wanted to try the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer bronzer. So just a lot of like fresh things for spring. I also have some shadow sticks, some cream blushes. So I just wanted to sit down and try out some things that looked really good to me. So I'm gonna start off with this product right here. Again, this is from the brand Alleyoop. I've received PR from them for a while but I have not yet tried their products. So this is supposed to be a sensational broad spectrum SPF 50 tinted mineral sunscreen with niacinamide, which sounds fabulous. It's supposed to be water and sweat resistant and yeah, it looks really nice. They sent me three shades, but it comes in 12 shades and this retails for $30. So it just looks really good to me. I also really like the packaging, if it will focus. Hello, hello, <laughs> there it is. It just has kind of like this dropper applicator. Anyway, so I'm gonna shake it really well. I'm gonna use the lightest shade, it's called Aurora. And I'm just gonna pop this on the back of my hand it's very, very, very runny. It's already like dripping. So I'm just gonna pick that up on a foundation brush and let's apply it to half of the face first so that we can see like the kind of coverage this gives. I'm not expecting crazy coverage, but oh, maybe I should be expecting more because it looks like it's actually covering up my redness really, really well. It doesn't have a fragrance, which is so nice. So let's just keep applying it to half of the face. It feels very lightweight and very almost like water-based. So it's gliding across the skin really beautifully. Well, I really like how that looks. You can tell it just evened out like the splotchiness on my cheeks, but it looks very fresh. I'm gonna keep blending this in with a sponge, but I think that looks really nice. Okay, let's take the rest and apply it to the other side of the face. Normally I feel like I would prep my skin a little bit better, but I didn't wanna layer too much underneath a tinted sunscreen so that I could see how it gripped to the skin and all that. That's really pretty. This doesn't seem to have any claims as far as like longevity or anything like that. All it really says is to reapply since it's a sunscreen. Um, it says it's non-comedogenic, which means it won't clog pores. It's supposed to hydrate with the niacinamide and it's supposed to minimize red and strengthens the moisture barrier with jojoba esters. Very nice. I really, really like how this feels. Plus, I love that it's a mineral sunscreen because it's just so much more gentle on the skin. It's so much less toxic to just use a mineral sunscreen. I prefer a mineral sunscreen, but they're not all equal, if that makes sense. Like sometimes the formula can feel really chalky, but I feel like that actually went on so nice. So now we're gonna try out the Pacifica Dreamlit Glow Concealer. I don't know, I just found this. It was kind of floating around in one of my new makeup bins and this just looked really good. So honestly, I haven't tried too much from Pacifica and I feel like I need to because a lot of people really like it. The packaging is stunning. It's actually a glass bottle. It feels very, very luxe. This is the Dreamlit Glow Concealer, yeah. And this is the shade um, 11. And it's a combination of plant-based ingredients that delivers the appearance of tighter, less puffy skin, basically. Okay, let's try it out. It has just a typical doe foot applicator, but it's a little bit on the smaller side, which is kind of nice. I'm just gonna dab this underneath the eyes and then just blend it out with my sponge. This has good coverage so far. It seems to be blending out nicely as well. Yeah, it's definitely a very good coverage concealer and it seems to have like illuminating particles in it. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like reflecting underneath the eyes, which I like. I'm just gonna kind of like brighten up the center of the face a little bit with this. I'm just gonna take what's left on my sponge and apply it to the eyelids to kind of cancel everything out. It seems to be kind of settling in the lines around my eyes, but let's wait and see how it looks once I kind of set the under eyes. Okay, I really want to try out the Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer from Laura Mercier. The shade 01 Sunshine seems like a very fair shade, so I kind of wanted to start with this. I could always add more of a different color, but this is the, yeah, Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. So it's supposed to be like a sheer liquid bronzer, I'm assuming, and I've just been really, really intrigued by it. They also launched a while back a Tinted Moisturizer Blush, and I still haven't actually tried that. So I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand. You can see how fair that first shade is, and I'm just gonna kind of pick it up on a brush and start warming up the cheeks with this. 
like I said, I might need a deeper shade actually though. That looks so natural to have just like slight warmth coming through the skin. Do you see that? Like it's really shaping out my cheeks, but it's not overpowering, which is really pretty. It feels like it almost has this gel, almost cooling texture to it, but it's seeming to also blend out well and dry down well. Okay, let's keep going. I just put a little bit more on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna go around the perimeters of the face, just anywhere that the sun would naturally hit. I've been wanting to try the new Laura Mercier foundation that launched, but I haven't bought it yet. I used to use Laura Mercier uh, complexion products quite a bit, like their foundation and also their concealer, the Flawless Fusion Concealer I used to use like every day. It was my ride or die for years. And this is kind of making me want to revisit the whole brand. I mean, I use like the powder quite often still. It's been a while since I've tried any of their new complexion things. I like this a lot. Let me tell you what I feel like I would use this for. You know, like no makeup makeup days, especially with like a tinted sunscreen where you just need to add back a little bit more dimension after evening the skin tone out. I feel like this would be perfect, at least for me, this shade and the way that it shears out is kind of ideal for just like adding structure back to the skin without it looking makeup-y because of the color. Like it's not an intense color on me whatsoever, which I love. Things are going well today. I'm really excited about all these. I really wanted to play around with these new Jaclyn Cosmetics plush blushes. Look at these colors. They sent me all eight of the shades and these are the blurring cheek tints. My eyes are immediately drawn to the light pink shades, although it comes in so many pretty colors, but plush pink and plush ballet are kind of the ones that I'm hoping to try. So let's see what these look like. Here's the packaging. It's a cream blush with a nice big doe foot applicator. So my hand's kind of dirty from the tinted bronzer, but I wanted to swatch these before I go ahead and put them on the face. So this one is Plush Ballet, which is like this gorgeous peach. And then these are very pigmented. And then let's try Plush Pink. Okay, there's Plush Pink. Definitely more intense than it looks on the cap. So it's more of like a watermelon pink. Wow, the tiniest bit goes a very, very long way. So based off of these swatches, I think I'm gonna start off with Plush Ballet. I feel like I'm too scared to apply it directly to my cheeks because of how pigmented it is. So I'm just gonna put a little teeny dot on the back of my hand. And let's take a dual fiber brush and kind of like really push it into the brush bristles first. And then I'm just gonna kind of start tapping this onto the cheeks. I don't know if this is the recommended way to apply this, but I'm just kind of going off of what feels intuitive with this formula for me. Okay, I definitely feel like I can add a little bit more. Just kind of layering that onto the cheeks gently so that I don't accidentally overdo it because I can be heavy handed with my blush. This is a very pretty, very wearable peachy blush color. I'm kind of gonna go across the nose a bit just for like a sun-kissed look. Put some in the crease of the eye as well to just tie everything together. And then I'm taking my sponge, just going around the edge of the blush. It's really pretty. Okay, I actually was just barely sent this from Ciate. I swear to you, if this is the Coconut Vacay Powder but renamed, I will lose my mind because I loved the Coconut Vacay Powder. Then I couldn't find it, like they discontinued it, it felt like. And then they sent me this and I was like, wait, is this Coconut Vacay but renamed and brought back? Try not to get my hopes up, but I'm also wanting to get my hopes up because also the packaging is the exact same. I'm really hoping this powder used to be like my favorite ever, but I stopped using it on my channel because I don't like to use things that you can't find, you know? So I'm thrilled about this. I'm just gonna tap a bit of this into the lid and then we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna tap away any of the creasing underneath the eyes and then I'm gonna set with this. Guys, I think it is. It doesn't have the coconut smell, but I think that this might be the same powder. I would be thrilled. I'm just powdering the T-zone and the under eye. I'm actually gonna leave the cheeks unpowdered. I feel like the plush blush, is that what it's called? Am I making that up? No, it is called plush blush, okay. I feel like it kind of dried down to a really nice, there's a thunderstorm happening outside, oh my. But it dried down kind of powdery, so I don't feel like I need to set. I don't know why, but I was so intrigued by these J Cat Beauty Shimmy Struck Shadow Sticks. So I wanted to give them a go. It comes in so many pretty shades. I'm gonna create a little bit of a base with the MAC Omega eyeshadow. Not a base, but like a shape, structure. I'm just gonna throw this in the crease. And then just a bit underneath the lower lash line. 
to shape that out a little. And then actually I'm gonna pop my eyebrows on really quick, hold on. So I'm immediately drawn to this color right here. This is called Sparkling Pebbles. And it's like, ooh, it's got the glitter in it. Oh, so pretty. Wait a minute, okay, well, I really like that. Let's pick another color though to layer. Maybe Mesmerize? Yeah, let's layer those two. Starting off with Mesmerize, which is like this really pretty bronze color. And then there's a brush on the other end, which is kind of fun. Goodness gracious, the thunderstorm. I better finish filming before the power goes out. I know there's a brush on the other side, but I'm just using my fingers to blend this out. And I'm gonna go along, actually, here I am, now using the brush to blend that out underneath the lower lash line. So that one didn't have like as much glitter as this one right here, which I'm so excited to put on. Sparkling pebbles. Let's layer that right on top. It's literally like a glitter topper in stick form. That's so pretty. Because of the shape of my eye, that's, there's not like that many shadow sticks that end up working for me as far as how they wear. So I'm really hoping these dry down and wear well. I figured I'd try them anyway, even though I'm not always hopeful. I feel like the Bobbi Brown ones and the Laura Mercier ones are like the only ones that don't budge on me. All right, let's just do a little bit of mascara. I'm just gonna use my Maybelline mascara. And then to finish off the look, I wanted to try one of these lipsticks. So these are from Make Beauty and they are the Cream Supreme High Impact Lipsticks. Look at all these beautiful colors. They have like blue and black and dark purples and fuchsias. So I wanna pick one that would look good with this look. Okay, so I just opened one of these up. Look at how pretty the packaging is on this. Very, very, very pretty. Here's one of the shades that I picked to try. This is Equilibrium. It's like a really nice everyday pink. I just wanna try this right now. I'm just ready to see how these feel. These are very pigmented. They actually have a really nice Kind of luminous finish. Oh, that's so comfortable. Very pretty color. I feel like I should try just one of the fun colors because most of these are really fun colors. So I grabbed fluorescence, which is like a fuchsia. Let's try it. Oh my, it's so bright. This one is like neon. I feel like I wouldn't wear this like on a daily basis, obviously, but it just proves how pigmented these lipsticks are. I feel like I want to wear the other one because it's just more practical for me today, but that sure is a fun color. So I'm just putting on a little lip liner. This is Tower 28. It's the brown one called Draw Me. And then I'm going to apply the Equilibrium shade again. I actually feel like this matches the blush color really well. Okay, I'm just going to assess the situation. I'm adding a little more bronzer with whatever's left on the brush. But again, that's a very like light bronzer. Um, I was gonna set the face, but I realized I do want to see how long the complexion products wear on their own. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set the brows. And then that's it. I feel like this is a really nice everyday look, which is what I was expecting from the products that I chose to try today. But overall, I feel like there's a lot of fun things. I'm the most excited about the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. Even though it's not like as much warmth as I typically go for for my makeup looks, I feel like that's the reason why I like it. It's so subtle. It is the lightest shade, but if you're somebody like me and you have fair skin and you are heavy handed with bronzers and on an everyday basis, you feel like bronzer kind of takes your makeup to a level that seems too makeup-y sometimes. I feel like this shade and formula is gonna really cater to you um, the way that it is for me. Obviously it comes in a full shade range, so if you want that effect, like more of a sheer bronzer for every day, I don't feel like you can go wrong with that. I'm super excited about it. Everything else is really pretty. The Alley Oop Tinted Moisturizer looks really nice right now. The concealer looks a little bit heavy for me, but maybe that's just because I've been wearing the Glowish Concealer, like the sheer one, and it just looks like practically nothing under the eyes. So so I'll have to keep playing with that. The eyeshadow, it already seems to be kind of bunching up. It has a little bit of an oily base to it. So I just feel like it will probably crease. I will leave a note in the description box letting you know. The lip product is so pigmented, very comfortable. I almost wish it came in more neutral shades because that's just what I practically reach for, but really pretty. The Jaclyn Cosmetics blush looks really nice as well. Definitely dries down to a more matte finish though, which some people might really enjoy. I've been kind of into um, cream blushes that have a little bit more of a glow to it though, so we'll see, you know? I think my favorite thing though is definitely the Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer and the Tinted Sunscreen. I feel like these things will really make it into my routine this summer. Also, very excited about the Extraordinary Translucent Powder from Ciate. I swear to you, it's the same as the one I loved before. I will get back to you on this, 
but I mean, it looks beautiful on the skin, very lightweight. So I'm excited about that too. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out a few new products. Um, I think it's fun to just try things that not that many people talk about, you know? I feel like not that many people have reviewed some of these things, at least not yet. So I feel like I discovered a couple new favorites already, especially with the tinted sunscreen and the bronzer, like I said. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products or if there's anything else that's launched recently that you've kind of been interested in that you would like to see me try, comment that down below as well. You guys know I love hearing from you and love to review things that you wanna see me review. So be sure to leave a comment. But overall, I feel like I had a fun little first impressions day. If you wanna know how this wore by the end of the day, again, check the description box. I will be sure to update you on how my complexion looks at the end of the night. So yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.